The last time I owned a Great Wall, this happened. We blew the Great Wall up. Uh oh. Up we go. Don't buy a Great Wall. <laughs> so why the f would I buy another one? This is my brand new 2023 Great Wall Cannon Vanta. So I've owned this car for the past couple of weeks and put about a thousand kilometers on it as I wanted to have a genuine feel for the car before making this video. If you're a follower of this channel, you'll know that I daily drive a 2005 Toyota Prado. V6 petrol and it's been an absolutely amazing truck. We build it here on the channel and honestly, I can't fault it. But lately, I've been wanting to upgrade. We do a lot of driving, picking up car parts, towing the race cars around Australia and the fuel economy of the Prado wasn't exactly amazing. That's the only thing that I could fault with that car, the 4 litre V6, a little bit thirsty. So I had a budget of around $40,000 to spend on a ute. And when I started searching for new cars in that price range, I figured out pretty quickly that you're not going to get a lot for the price. That's when these bad boys popped up. So I paid $42,000 for this ute. To give you guys a little bit of context, for the same price range, the only other ute available that was brand new was a base model Mitsubishi Triton. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of Tritons, and if I'm honest, I do like a little bit of luxury with my cars. So I've been researching the Great Walls for the past four or so months now. Checking out the YouTube reviews, I did jump on some Facebook pages and followed along with the experience of people who had bought Canons. The experiences seemed 99% positive, with a couple of small issues here and there, which is to be expected. So these things come with a seven year unlimited kilometre warranty. Oh, by the way, I wish I could say that this video is sponsored by Great Wall, but it isn't. I paid full price for this ute. So after following along with the pages, watching some YouTube reviews, I decided it was time to go to a dealer and check one of these out. Of course, owning a Great Wall previously, I did have preconceived expectations about the quality of the ute when I went to check it out, especially because it's $42,000, so you cannot expect the world from these things. But when I did go and check it out, it actually blew my expectations out of the water. The amount of luxury that you get with these is pretty darn amazing. Not to mention the build quality is actually really good. Everything in here is super fancy and driving this thing around has been such a freaking pleasure. I must say this is my first ever brand new car. So take out of that what you will in terms of me probably just being stoked with having something brand new and not, you know, 10 years old. But the best thing about this is it's got the eight speed ZF gearbox. And I think that really sets the tone for the driving experience in this thing. So some people do have complaints about the amount of power that these things put out. It's a two litre four cylinder turbo diesel motor, makes 120 kilowatts, 400 newton meters of torque. I have not noticed any lack of power whatsoever, personally. I've had a couple of D40 Navaras before, they were two litre turbo diesel. It honestly doesn't feel any different from those. This thing has plenty of power, you throw it into sports mode and I'm more than happy with it. In saying that, I'm not really that fussy of a person. I get in, I push the accelerator, I drive, and I don't really overanalyze anything, but I've not noticed any kind of lack of power surging or anything in the ute. So, so far, very happy with that. This thing is certainly hella fancy, has all the bells and whistles. By the way, this is not supposed to be a review video, more or less just an explanation video as to why I bought one of these, because you guys are obviously gonna see it in the videos. So I thought I'd answer the questions before they even popped up. We do have multiple trips to South Australia towing the race car this year, so you guys will get to see exactly how this thing performs. Obviously time will tell as to the quality of everything in this truck and how everything holds up. I do have a couple of plans aesthetically for this thing. We are gonna be installing a lift kit and some wheels, just to give it a little bit of extra aggression. I'm not gonna go too over the top, because I do wanna maintain my fuel economy. And we're gonna chuck a roller shutter on this thing just so I can protect my stuff when we go drifting. Actually, one thing I do wanna show you though, that's probably my favorite thing of the whole car. It's got a step to get up into the back, which is pretty freaking sick, especially when you're loading up to go drifting or racing. Anyway, that's a wrap on this video. My first brand new car, and it's a freaking great wall. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts in the comments below. Time will tell as to how this thing holds up to our abuse. I'm excited about it, and I cannot freaking wait to chuck some wheels and the lift kit in this thing. Hit that subscribe button to follow along with our journey. Thank you guys so much for watching. New R32 video drops this week. I've been hard at work repairing all the rust in that thing. It is pretty crazy, but uh, thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next video. Yo, peace. Great wall, baby. We're back. <laughs>